What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 most embarrassing fails caught on live TV. Now don't forget, if you want to enter this week's giveaway, all you have to do is simply be subscribed to our channel. As well, make sure you leave a comment letting us know you want to be entered in. It's super easy, fast, and 100% free, so why not do it? Also, if we can get 5,000 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 10. Dutch TV Reporter Falls in River when you're doing TV on set, pretty much anything can go wrong, and unfortunately, sometimes it does. At least that's what this Dutch TV reporter found out when she fell straight into a river off of a boat while conducting an interview. I mean, she only has herself to blame, though. After she asks her first question, she decides to lean back on the edge of an open portion of the boat's protective railing, and then tries to grab onto what looks to be like a bit of string to steady herself. Well, obviously, the string gave way, and then she went straight into the river. Luckily, the reporter knew how to swim, and they were able to get her out of water. On top of that being super embarrassing, the guy holding the microphone actually tried to like use it to get her out, and I, honestly, that's just so funny to me. Het paasevenement van Nederland georganiseerd, Seelkampen. Burgemeester, wat is er nou zo bijzonder aan Seelkampen? Als je de mooiste opvullen, jongens, dat gaat, dat gaat, dat gaat niet goed. Deze kant dan. Nee. Probeer. <laughs> Number 8. Serene Branson Stroke For those tuning into the Grammys back in 2011, the night was going to turn into a huge celebration, but ended up getting a surprisingly strange live broadcast from the reporter Serene Branson. She gets her first few words out fine, but then things start to go really wrong. It's like she can't get any of her words out properly. Her speech becomes mumbled and doesn't make any sense at all. It actually turns out that the reporter had experienced a stroke live on TV and it was stopping her from thinking straight. Now fortunately she was given the appropriate medical aid and was fine afterwards, leaving the event as just another embarrassing TV moment. With highlights and backstage coverage, we're seeing for the very first time, Sari. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Terrace Chase and those for the bit, they have the pit. Very Darrison but let's go to Terrace Chase and let's go to the bit to have the pet. Number seven, the wrong Miss Universe. The Miss Universe contest is a yearly competition that gets a lot of press, although last year's competition got a ton of attention for all the wrong reasons. Steve Harvey, the presenter of the show, announced Miss Columbia as the winner of the Miss Universe title, but in actual fact, it was Miss Philippines who had won. When Steve Harvey realized he had got it all wrong, the stage turned into one of the most awkward broadcasts ever. I mean, you gotta feel bad for Miss Columbia. Steve Harvey is just such a funny guy to look at, though, and his reaction to it is just priceless. There's, I have to apologize. The first runner up is Colombia. Number 6. Condor Takes Over Hockey Game During a Bakersfield Condor game, a singer was singing the national anthem, and at the same time a condor had been released so that it could stand around and look majestic. Unfortunately, it didn't really look majestic as the bird had other ideas. It jumped off its handler's arm and started sliding around on the icy floor, and the handler was having a really hard time trying to get it back again. The condor ended up flying off into the stands and everything, just keeping away from the handler until it eventually flew down the tunnel to the locker room and got caught. I mean, seriously, you can't make these things up. Condor's down. Uh, <laughs> the bird's going over to the condor. The bird man bench. was bringing the bird out to put him at the perch. Look at the condor's players are getting away from him. Look at him. There's, oh, there he goes up on the bench. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. This is the greatest. Oh ever my seen. gosh. <laughs> the bird's going down. He's down the top. Bird. Number five, Sky News reporter falls over. Nick Collins is a sports reporter for Sky News in the UK. During a broadcast about the England football team, the reporter just sort of fell over. 
Like one moment he was on camera and the next moment he had just dropped away. Nick was all right in the end and the broadcast eventually resumed, but that won't take away his embarrassment at literally falling over while standing still on live national television. Michael Carrick probably having to wait till the second half at least, but he's a man in form. He was man of the match here at the uh, Community Shield game. Uh, <laughs> Now, that's the kind of thing that you hope never happens to you in live television. But it obviously happened to Nate there. We shall go back to Wembley. Just as Number four, reporter hit by skateboard. A reporter called Mike Amal from Channel 7 News in America was running a report on skate parks in the country when out of nowhere, a skateboard came flying out of the park and whacked him on the back of the head. You know, I'm not really sure what was more embarrassing about this one. The fact that they played that as the actual story or the in-studio anchor who made the smart remark that he quote unquote should have stayed in the studio. I feel super bad for the guy though. I mean, that looks seriously painful. Ouch. It looks a lot worse than it did. He didn't bleed, but Mike says that whack sure did hurt. He's recovered though and is now nursing a big lump on his forehead. Number three, Mexican singer Sanitary Pad. While halfway through a performance on a TV show, a Mexican singer Sanitary Pad literally fell out from between her legs. She was walking forward and the pad just sort of dropped out and you could hear one guy go, woo, when it happens. So uh, yeah, people totally noticed. I gotta give credit to the singer though, because she just kept on going. A lot of people are calling it gross, but for the most part, it's kind of just the human body, so I don't see the big deal. Still though, that's really embarrassing to happen in the middle of a performance. Number two, BBC presenter caught brushing hair. The BBC is one of those UK news organizations that really pride themselves on being professional and well put together. I mean, it's literally supposed to be the news channel for the entire British people. Unfortunately for the BBC Business Live reporter, Carol Walker, the cue that lets her know she was on the air was a little late and she was caught brushing her hair before. I mean, honestly, I don't see the big deal with this. It's really not that embarrassing, but the whole point of it is that like they're supposed to be like this really professional network and it just was not professional at all. This is BBC News, I'm Carol Walker, the headlines at nine. The government starts selling off its stake in RBS. Number one, Katie Solov falls over. In 2015, the CBS4 traffic reporter Katie Solov hit a bit of a bump in the road. She was busy updating viewers about the road conditions, and she was so concentrated on doing her job that she didn't realize she had been walking backwards for far too long. And she basically ended up walking herself right off of a small step and falling onto the ground in her new studio. I mean, on the plus side of things, she still managed to finish off her broadcast even though she sounded really in pain. And to make things even worse, her co-hosts were clearly laughing at her, but man, I can't help but die laughing at this. Folks coming in from Carmel, if you're using US 31 southbound, your average speed is 43 miles per hour. Katie's okay. All right, thank you, Katie. Well, the Indiana Youth Institute is wrapping up. And there's our list of the top 10 most embarrassing moments caught on TV. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop a like down below and subscribe so you can stay notified whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.